Good morning, everyone. Um, happy Monday. Uh, it's a very special Monday for men's students across the country where we find out whether or not we matched. As you know, I was up super late last night just editing this vlog, hoping that that would cause me to sleep in and that way I could just wake up to the results. Um, kind of happened that way, kind of didn't. I still woke up at like eight and then just was like awake the whole time. But I did find out I matched, which is incredible. Like, it's like this, it's this moment where you were like, whoa, like all those years, five years, now at least like you know you're gonna be a doctor, which is incredible. The next question is gonna be figured out on Friday, which is gonna tell me where exactly I matched. But as of right now, I can tell you for a fact I did match, which is, I think, the much, much bigger question. Like I, by far, you, you just feel this like sense of relief knowing that you do, you will get a chance to uh, train and, and be a doctor. And so in and of itself, it's a, it's a big privilege. Uh, so I guess we do get to celebrate today. We are going to go to New York. I'm going to ha have a bit of class actually with um, uh, my med school. We have a three week course that helps us transition to residency. So I'm going to be doing that course. And um, after that, we may be going to New York celebrating a bit. So I'll take you with me. Uh, <laughs> you'll be with me all of match week. Hopefully you enjoy it. So let's go. We're back to the food trucks. Dude, I haven't been back here in... When was last time you were here, Stefan? I don't know about 2019. 29... When was the last time you both were here? At this uh, location? I would say last year when I was on rotation. Yeah, on rotation. Dude, yeah. this is... Yeah, we haven't been here in a while. <laughs> it's all that not greasy. <laughs> not greasy, not oily. That's the non-greasy, non-oily food truck. The other food trucks aren't even out yet. Yeah, I know, it's so early. Yeah, it's like we don't come back here often, but when we do, it's on an 11 a.m. on like a Monday. Back from class, we're definitely gonna do a celebratory trip now to New York. And I feel like, I don't know, like part of this is just hitting me now because I, I am doing a bit more reflecting. Um, I, had, I, I wanted to make a post. Obviously I wanted to make a post mostly to my parents uh, because they were the ones who were uh, there from the beginning. Uh, I have a picture of them uh, with my white coat on day one. And you know, the last five years have been tough and they were like always there. And obviously it's been a village actually. Um, I have the person who admitted me to Yale. Uh, I have the Dean of Students who has taken care of me like a child, <laughs> like her child since I've been here. Um, there's just so many people that have come together to like help me even do this. Cause I can almost tell you I have had multiple breaking points where I was like, this is not possible. And maybe not everyone has those, but I have. And, and to say that this moment is purely like my achievement is such an understatement. Like I cannot tell you, like if anything, I think I had at most 49% to do with it and 51% was the environment that I was in. So um, it's still settling in. Uh, this just like reading those words, congratulations, you have matched. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's very surreal, so. All that to say, you know, I've been making videos like these for five years too. Um, and I've seen my evolution over over those years as someone who initially started med school, struggled a lot, uh, struggled to even figure out like what I wanted to do, did the MBA, and now is trying to be a doctor. Um, there's a lot of growth, uh, a lot of changes, and if there's one consistency to life, it's changed. So yeah, still it's still settling in. Like my camera hand is still shaking, as you can see, uh, but I'm grateful, I'm grateful. club now. What's going on everyone? So 
just finishing up another day in class. So we are usually have class now for the next three weeks from nine to noon about pretty much anything and everything to kind of give us a boot camp for residency. So that's kind of what I've been doing in class right now in a bit of a break. These lectures are actually really interesting. They're on things that are very like high yield. So for example, how to read chest x-rays, how to use vents, how to make sure you know how to work up someone who has shortness of breath. So it's been, it's been good, especially for someone who's been out of the hospital. So done with class, I'm back home now. Um, I'm gonna go on a brief run, but I wanted to show you all. Right at the end, they're giving us like the stuff to get ready for match day. This is a bottle of Champagne. Champagne, but Champagne is how you spell it. Uh, so pretty pumped. They gave us like these shirts that say like, you know, I matched in X. Uh, they also gave us these little posters where we write what we matched in. So really pumped, really excited. Only like, you know, it's, it's happening. It's coming soon, really pumped about it. And, uh, blessed in in every way possible that's all i can say uh but gonna go get some exercise now and i come back and i got a few tasks ready to go for the day so i got my run in got in a good lunch and now we are actually going to the simulation center where i think they're simulating like our first night on call as interns which i have no idea how i would ever even come close to doing but it is somewhat full circle because i think like one of the first week of first weeks of medical school we come to this center and like try to do very, something very similar <laughs> and are even more clueless so yeah all these like things happening are very like emotional but I even like emotional like after the fact when you really think about it because I'm like I've walked these streets for so many uh, years at this point so here's the simulation center this is one of our patients and then this is like a double glass door this was a patient i think who was struggling with like hypoglycemia i think that was the case and we tried to help the patient with improving hypoglycemia so this is just one of them and then this is another patient over here um and he was struggling with i think he had a pe um so yeah it's just like a hypothetical scenario as you kind of work out and uh had a lot of fun and now we're gonna go home get some rest and there's even vitals and stuff up here. So it was definitely a useful exercise. I highly encourage simulations as a learning experience. So I honestly had nothing that much better to do. So after the simulation, I really wanted this incredible sandwich from a place called Mika's. Um, and they sell these incredible like paninis. Uh, so I got the portobello one, uh, two of them, 16 bucks, not bad. And then um, a salad. And it's actually like two miles away, so I just walked. <laughs> While I was walking, I'm listening to House of God, which is a great, apparently a great book uh, that almost every medical person should read just because it's, it's a, I think satire, but very cynical, interesting, but I'm, I'm not done yet. So I can't give me my full review, but I, I can tell you I do like it. Uh, and now we're just walking back home and uh, probably gonna relax, hopefully in bed, because I haven't, I've had like really intense last two days, so get some rest today okay well well why don't we first describe the fact that we have what two days left to match we just got some mcdonald's doing some wine and this is the cool part this guy zooming in excessively on you right now he's actually you're my very first vlog michael i mean these guys are in different vlogs like megan is in a vlog with the q a anup has just been in vlogs like in like tangentially and then Michael was in like one of my first vlogs when I ruptured my tendon. Just scrub into my surgery. Is that inappropriate to ask the surgeon? No, just don't tell him you know me. Really? Yeah. Mm. And at that time, Michael, what was your specialty? What did you want to go into? Cardiothoracic surgery. Okay, great. So now it's five years later, right? Yeah. What are you gonna, what did you just, you got the email yesterday that you matched, right? Uh, correct, yeah. Yeah, and so what, what do you match into? Hopefully cardiothoracic surgery. <laughs> I'm not a very creative guy. It stayed put. Because, I mean, I don't... I mean, actually, you stayed put, too. You did ortho all the way through. What were you thinking? I shaved one leg, like, five 
try to learn. But what were you when you first started med school? Undecided. Okay. And now you now what are you, you know, doing? Undecided. It's psychiatry. Yeah. So you psychiatrist, surgeon, orthopedic surgeon, cardiothoracic. So Michael, how are you feeling with two days left to go? I just feel like the outcome on Friday doesn't really matter. All that matters is today and we should just be happy because you know, regardless of what happens on Friday, at least we can say that, you know, we got McDonald's on Tuesday, <laughs> up a bottle of wine and, and it was a good week. So, so um, you're doing, you're going like philosophical then. Of course, you know, right? <laughs> Friday could be a good day, could be a bad day, but I know that today was a good day. And so that, that's all we can guarantee. This is Plato's fourth child right there. Fourth generation of Plato. <laughs> that about wraps it up. I am again up late editing because I, I just think these meaning these moments are just so meaningful and honestly that that last scene with Michael was was honestly a great one to end on. I think everything he said is actually very true. It's something I think about all the time. It's just funny because he's not usually the philosophical one in our friend group, or at least not outwardly. So <laughs> love him and love all of you. So thank you all so much for watching. If you did like this, drop a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Peace.